Welcome to Ants Infinite. This is the fourth video on my Campanatus pennsylvanicus colony, otherwise known as Carpenter Ants. Thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy. These ants have been a lot of fun to care for. The hybrid nest has something inside of it that needs to be taken care of. Do you see it yet? I'll show it to you a little closer here. Yep, that's mold. We're gonna have to clean this bad boy so that these girls can stay safe. Now, this is where I was gonna show you guys what I did to get them to move, you know, into a new home temporarily while I cleaned their hybrid nest. But this entire part of the video ended up being a waste of time. So I'm just gonna cut it out. It was a waste of time. So here I put a heating wire over the waste of time and their original feeding spot. Has their sugar water and their fresh water. I put a black t-shirt over top of it and then put the wire so that it didn't like overheat them or anything. And then I put another black t-shirt on top of that. Here our one-winged queen is going to wait with her brood until the scouts can find dark areas to move. Then we'll be able to properly clean her nest. I have a lot of extra footage of their nest while they move on my Patreon if you guys would like to check it out. I have longer clips there on my Patreon, about 30 minutes each, close to about 30 minutes each, of just nothing but this. I put some highlights in this video here for you guys, uh, just some of the best stuff. To all of you that have checked that out, thank you so much for your support, it really helps me do what I do, and if you haven't, the link is on the YouTube in the description and on my channel. Thank you so much. So they all ended up moving directly into where they used to feed. They're in the freshwater tube right there with the queen, and on the other side, they're in the sugar water tube. I reconnected the hybrid nest while three ants were still inside of it. I had already cleaned it, and those ants just didn't want to move into the test tubes, so I had them in this Tupperware that you see in the video now. With them being in the hybrid nest as I reconnected it to the others, it really helped. They moved immediately in within the first hour. Here you can see I'm already moving back the brood. This was probably my favorite part of this entire experience to watch.
Finally, after all the brood is left, they coax the queen back into the nest. It takes a bit of time, and it takes a lot of coaxing, but she does eventually start to move on her own. She's been doing a lot of work, laying a lot of brood lately. And finally, after all is said and done, they've moved back into the entrance chamber of their nest. It's a good feeling knowing that they're safe. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified of my videos coming out in the future. You can also follow me on TikTok if you want to be notified of when I'm filming or of other things like what my cats are up to. Thanks for watching, guys.